Hey guys, Lady Mizu back again. Um, so yeah, last time we left off, we started our park, lost a lot of money, just trying to build the damn thing, and now we're back for the most part. And handyman, get your ass over here and clean. Anybody that remembers playing this game will also remember one annoying thing about the handyman. And that's the fact that they will all gather on one side of the park, usually over here. Because, I don't know. They're handymen. Not saying all oh, handymen are like that, obviously. Just the handymen in theme park. Because, yeah. Why not? Oh, crap, crap. Fix it! No, wait. Fix it! Oh yeah, one thing I should have mentioned about repairing rides is when this wrench is completely yellow, then that's the danger point. That's when it's about to blow up. Fix it! Oh god. Where's my other mechanic? Where is my other mechanic? Did he- he didn't go outside, did he? Sam. Okay, there he is. And sometimes mechanics like to just kind of go outside the park and all just kind of gather out here because they're douchebags. Right. Grab you. Get out of here. Not going anywhere. You are staying right. Ah. You're staying right there. All right. Um. Oh, staff negotiations. Yes, this is about pay raises, pay cuts, that kind of thing. Ah. Uh, the idea is you're supposed to come to an agreement before those biscuits in the tray in the middle run out. If you don't, all of your employees go on strike. about mm, when I get to about 50k I'm going to start building more all right tubing because why not thing to do is to turn that speed most of the way up. Also, because we have... I don't want an entertainer. Entertainers seem useless to me, really. Um, at least I've never had a good experience with entertainers. I find entertainers actually tend to bring the, the uh, bicyclists, or the, the motorcyclists. What are you doing out here? Get your ass back in here! Manhandling my employees. I'm sure that it's going to result in a lawsuit, but eh, whatever. Oh, you know what?
should make use of this room here. Perfect. Oh god. Fix it! <laughs> halfway to exploding. Yeah, it's seriously gonna mess with my part layout, but I'm not too worried. Alright, didn't I have something else in here too? Oh, the duck shoot. Yes, I'm gonna wait and pick that up. Oh wow, that's a lot of litter. Uh, get over here. Clean that up. Do it. Oh god. What the hell? For a minute there, it looked like a kid was stuck in the bouncy ride. Which is kind of awkward, but kind of funny at the same time. Alright, that's that cleaned up, finally. Right, so... I'm gonna put the duck shoot down, because this is actually supposed to be, I think... I think they said this was really reliable. Right, some of these you can sit there and just press an arrow and it goes, others you can't. This is how you break the game, essentially. <laughs> A lot of your games and stuff that you have here just up the chance of winning, especially if it's a really popular game. Up the chance of winning, lower the, uh, the cost of the prize. And then wait until your advisor tells you, like, how much to increase the price by. Because you will have people that will actually play it, regardless. Obviously, that only seems to work in rich nations, though. I mean, you can't go elsewhere and do that. Because, yeah, that would be a bit much for one game, but... You guys are littering all over the place. Now that I think about it, I think that's how most theme parks make their killings anyway. It's like, yeah, okay, fine, we won't have the emission price be abysmally high, but everything else is going to be really expensive. Ah, oh, 
Uh, somebody fell out of the bouncy ride. <laughs> Why is he not happy? Oh. Right, so the overall charts here tell you where you place the richest, most satisfying, biggest, exciting, amenities, pleasantry, that kind of thing. I like how they have uh, Malt Wisney. That's funny. I could sell my park, but unfortunately, the cheapest park. Available costs 300000 which is more than you'd be able to afford. And that's only because I still have a loan to pay off. But we're getting there. That's the point. Good negotiation. Yay! This one will cost 2.8% less. Woo. That'll help. Not want to delete it. The saloon is not a bad thing. Catching fire. This is not good. Oh god, somebody can fix that. Okay, there he is. There he is. He's going for it. Wait, where's he going? Where's he going? This is not cool. This is not cool. Everything is breaking at once. Fix, uh... Okay, he's got it. Fix that. Wow. That's pretty bad. Everything broke. post. You... Well, you're not in trouble, but I'm gonna have you move over here. Where are you going? You're staying right there. Where do you think you're going? Mechanics! Stop moving all over the place. still looks so happy though. That's the funny part. Alright, get over here. Alright, 
Uh, I'd have to the rest of that one. Perfect. You could put one-way uh, pathways if you really want people to get pissed off, but I wouldn't recommend doing it because, yeah, it pisses them off pretty badly. Though it's pretty entertaining. Whoa! Whoa! Who caught the maze on fire? Somebody caught the maze on fire. That's amazing! I'll slap myself later for that one. Oh, crap, crap. Fix it. setting the bouncy castle on fire. I swear to God, we have a serial arsonist in the park. And we have kids flying out of rides right and left. And they just kind of disappear, never to be heard from again. I'm surprised we haven't gotten sued for like violating safety regulations or something. That does seem to be something that ought to be in-game. But then again, that would be too much of a pain because, yeah... He's okay. Hmm. I think we can get a bit more than that. So I'm not selling the park yet. Since my loans are all paid off, I could have probably taken it, and it could have been auctioned off for something else. See, that's one thing that the screen doesn't figure in. Your, your park doesn't actually get sold for that amount. It gets auctioned. And so, while that's the projected amount at first, it could actually go higher. Like, you could end up with a $3 million balance by the time it's all done and over with. But they tell you that it's only uh, 300,000. So that way you know you, you have a little bit more to go on. Sorry guys. That wasn't very nice. There is a limit to the wage cuts, though, which is a good thing, I think. It makes it more realistic in that respect, because honestly, if you're working at a theme park, would you really like to have your wages cut? Come to th well, if you're working anywhere, you wouldn't want to have your wages cut, but theme park, 
you have a lot of people that just show up and they're just so ungrateful and rowdy and all this other stuff and just dealing with that. Oh my god. So anybody that does work in a theme park or any type of carnival or anything like that where you're dealing with assholes all the time, I salute you. Seriously. You have a lot more patience than I do. Right, so... I'm gonna bump up the research a little bit. I'm wondering if I can just bump that up to a thousand. That's something new. What do we get? Um. Hmm? Okay. Is there something in the decorations? I don't know. Oh yeah, you can add different decorations to your part, but the main thing that you really need from here. Toilets. That's it. The buzzing sound was somebody taking a crap. In case you were wondering. <laughs> people just kind of spread out out here. It's kind of weird. And they miss the bus. Aww. Probably where it's going to start giving me, uh. Oh, okay. I was just going to say that's probably where it's going to start giving me, like, fire hazard warnings. Super toilets! Probably the best toilets ever. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of deleted that while somebody was in it. Whoopsies. Alright, I'm gonna save state that, and I'm gonna end this video here. Um,. Probably record again after I get civil edge or something. Oh god, I'm so tired. So, I will be back later. So, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you all later.